name is Norman Sims. I would like to make a series of mini art lessons and demonstrations in the future. But for now, let me introduce myself. Let me share some of my art that I've done in the past with you. And let me tell you a little about what makes an artist. False ideas of what makes an artist. An artist is gifted and talented. Either you have it or you don't. If this was true, this idea places the artist with many difficult questions that he must find answers. If the artist believed in this statement, then he or she would be living in doubt of whether or not they have been given the gift from the almighty distributor of talent. Even if the statement was true, it would hold no support for the creative art for their fate then is not in their own hands. I'm not saying that artists are not talented, for some are truly amazing. But now, how much actual talent and how much determination and hard work? Art like any craft or profession can be taught. In becoming a noticed artist, you must understand yourself and make your work unique and personal. One way to create unique and personal artwork is to duplicate old masters works of art and soon you will see your individual gift of talent and style. An individual artwork is no better than another, only different. This type of thinking is destructive to anyone who is learning fine arts. This statement says that no matter what you do, it is on the same plane as the great artists such as Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, Salvador Dali, or Titian. If we were working on an equal artistic playground, then where does the notion of improvement fit in this equation? What we should be asking ourselves is what makes an artwork better than another. Hopefully, as you begin to seek to become better, you will understand and be able to answer these complex questions. Support system for the artists in America. In America, we are not supported by kings and the churches as that of the old masters were. The perception is that the artist's destiny relies on luck, fate, and also the gift of talent. This is how most people view the artist today not as skilled craftsmen who study and practice an array of topics so that they could present a clear message of their work as a writer would his or her words. Our educational system has placed art in the same category as non-essential learning subjects that we can do without. In an economical recessed country, reading, writing, and math are high on the list whereas fine art, physical education, and music are just a handful of subjects that are considered less important or in many minds not important at all. In the workforce, we are judged by the programming software we know and how well we are able to keep up with the ever-changing systems and programs. We are trying to survive by running after our tails and keeping up with the latest programs and gadgets which is changing for the survival of those who manufacture them indefinitely. In America, getting a higher education means becoming an engineer, lawyer, doctor, banker, and so on. But artists would not be listed because somehow the perception is that artists are given their talent at birth. As artists, we cannot change the mind of the masses but we must know who we are and the price we are willing to pay to become a serious artist. The artists are ordinary people who are trying to communicate through images as a writer would words. As just ordinary people, we share positive feelings of dreams, strength, creativity, as well as negative feelings of uncertainty, fear, and weakness. The support system is not in our favor, but it is up to us to create opportunities to bring a message in the form of art and overcome the opinions of the 
misinformed masses. Surviving as an artist. Surviving as an artist just means that you remain true to yourself and your ideas. It is the strength, not the quit, that will make your art more powerful. In any of our lives, the challenges we are faced with will present a host of human difficulties. These difficulties that make life seem unbearable leaves us feeling like our art is not meaningful or good enough. This uncertainty is not limited to artists, but to most individuals who are trying to reach for something more. Be careful about setting only one goal. Goals are only landmarks, not stopping ground. An example and big mistake in making your goal a final target. This is a true story about when I was helping my son prepare for a high school regional piano competition. He worked for three years and finally his year came. He won the regional piano competition. Sadly, shortly after, he told me that he did not want to play the piano anymore because he had reached his goal. Students in art stop creating art after graduation because they too are only setting one goal, which is to graduate. It is easy to see that they were only placed at the starting line at graduation. But when the gun goes off, most of us just get up and sit in the stand. I hope you were somewhat informed, and I hope to hear from you in the future. You can contact me at artid.com backslash N-F-S-I-M-M-S. Thank you.